Hello everyone and welcome back to the Trinity Online channel. Thank you to all the Trinity friends and the donators for helping donate to support this channel. Today's guide is going to be a quick one to teach you how to catch horses. And after I teach you how to grab that horse of yours, I will also teach you where to find those horses in various parts of the world. So let us jump right into the guide and start off with the items that we need. The first item you will require is to go to the stable keeper NPC. If you're not sure how to get to one, all you need to do is look at the top right of your minimap area, click on the magnifying class, and from there on select stable. Okay, this will lead you to the stable keeper where you can press T to auto run to him. Now, with that out of the way, all you need to do is interact with the stable keeper, go to the shop option. Okay, in the shop option, the first thing you want to do is look for an item called the capturing rope, which is over here. It costs about 1,500 silver, which is very cheap to buy. And all you need to do is click multiple. You can just buy 50 to 100. I'm just going to grab 100 for now and press OK. The second item you need to do is to get a lump of raw sugar. You can either manually use processing, which is type L on your keyboard, and then use heating. And what you do is put 10 raw sugar and one mineral water that you get from the cookhouse vendor. Or in my case, I'm just going to interact with the central market NPC. Again, I'm going to type lump as the keyword and go to lump of raw sugar. So I can basically just buy 50 piece. It'll cost me about 400,000 silver and just from there on collect it. Remember, after you buy a lump of raw sugar, it stays in the warehouse, okay? So you have to find the location, which is over here, and then bring it to your character, okay? So this will help speed up this tutorial. The next thing is, how do you go about finding horses? When it comes to finding horses, all right, you need maps. And there are a lot of resources in video community, which some of them are updated, some of them are not updated. I'll just put some of the links that I'm aware of in this video's description so you guys can check it out later. So for today, we are going to use Black Desert Foundry website. We go to map. All right, so let the map load. So when you have the map on your screen, what you want to do is go to this extra layer over here. In most websites that contains BDO map data, they always have something like a drop list or a selection checkbox. So what you want to do is look for wow horses, okay? Once you click wow horses, you will see on this map itself, a lot of areas having all this, all right? All these orange dots, and these are the places where you can capture wow horses okay so i hope that you guys uh, will find this useful and for this all right all these lines that just pop up with the names what happens is i click the show and hide all where it has all the city lines etc so if you're near kelfion for example all right kelfion there's this area over here which is beside marnie's farm ruins then you can locate it okay it's actually below the ferris dirt farm so you can use this little hint by clicking the show and hide all the lines etc so this will help you navigate along the map and help you find the horse location of course you want to find a horse location we have a large spot so perhaps there will be more than two or three horse spawn on that location as well the next thing you want to do before you start to capture the horses is basically to quick slot the items in your quick slot, right? You press I for your inventory window, and then what you want to do is the rope, the capturing rope, left click and hold it, slot it to slot 1. And then for the lump of raw sugar, you want to left click and hold, slot it to slot 2. This is so that you can easily use this two item when capturing horses, all right? You may want to foot bath a little bit for your bath for life skill as well. So what you want to do is gradually just approach the horse, but do not get too close because if you get too close, the horse will actually run away. And what you want to do is press 1, which is the capturing rope. Do a left click to throw the rope and spacebar into this region. Start to move forward, move forward. If the horse gets up, then you press spacebar, just spam it. And there's a timer here on the screen which is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And once timer expires, continue to press W, move towards the horse. If the horse gets up again, spacebar, just repeat spacebar again. Just keep spamming it. Five, four, three, two, one. 
two, one. And from there on, just move forward. Once you move forward close enough, press number two, which is the lump of raw sugar, feed it to the horse. And if it is successful, what you can do is just press R and you'll be able to mount the horse. All right, so this is a successful capture. So after that, what you want to do is just go to the nearest stable keeper. All right, let's say if you're in Heidel, you can go down to the nearest stable keeper and then you can just register the mount. So I'm just going to run to the stable keeper right now and going to show you guys the process. Now, newly captured horse are low levels. They don't really have much skills on them. So it is rather slow. A lot of players like to do this. OK, they don't really ride the horse there or they can ride their personal horse. However, what they do is that they will quickly go to the NPC, however means they could, all right, and then just stand in front of the NPC. After a while, the horse will actually reach the NPC. That's pretty much it, all right? So like this, I'm just running towards the NPC itself, going to the stable keeper, and then once at the stable keeper, I can wait for the horse to just appear around me, okay? And I can interact with the stable keeper, click the stable icon, and then click left mouse button lmb left click to register a horse first letter of the horse name must be capital letter so just call this horsey all right once you're done you can press confirm if the horse is still too far away this will not work okay just remember first letter must be capital letter so you will just say horsey over here is already checked out all right it's already taken out automatically on the spot so you'll be able to see the horse that you have just captured successfully now sometimes if you fail on a spot for some reason all right just try it again you can only capture one horse at a time to come to the npc to register if you were to change server the horse that you have captured successfully will be missing okay you have to come here to the stable keeper register in like what i just showed you guys and then you will be able to keep the horse again one quick summary is you want to slot slot one with the capturing rope you want to press one to activate the capturing rope and then you want to press lmb to throw the rope across okay once you throw the rope across you want to go into the meter region there's a bar region that you need to go into and after that it's just moving w towards the horse and spacebar where necessary once you get in front of the horse you want to click number two all right just press number two on your hot skill key for the lump of raw sugar so this is how you capture a horse in black desert online and i hope this guide has somehow helped you guys learn how to capture your first horse from there on if you want more tips like this on a weekly basis remember to subscribe to the channel do me a favor by liking this video and giving me a comment to let me know you have subscribed. And also be sure to check out my website over here, links in the video's description, where I upload all my guides there, categorized for your easy references as well. Join my Discord community if you want to buy me a coffee or donate to my monthly YouTube membership to support my efforts. Please kindly do so and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, you guys take care. Thanks for the support once again. Bye-bye.